Good morning. It's Saturday morning. We're getting ready to head up to Cloud's Rest right now. And then we're just going to do a loop out there and do some backcountry camping for tonight up there. So it should be a nice, pleasant day, although it's going to be 4,000 feet <laughs> of elevation gain. We're going to try to dump our bear canister somewhere where we're going to pick a campsite because we're doing a loop. <laughs> Flies and mosquitoes everywhere. But it's 9.30 and we'll be heading out any minute. There's Half Dome. I think if you look closely, you can see people on the top. Or can you? And El Capitan on the right. Pretty wild. Look at all the snow on that flat side. Ah, beautiful views. So the first two miles so far. In fact, the whole hike up to Cloud Dress is just up, up, up. It's a, uh, it's a lot of hiking. It's all up. As of June 15th, there is quite a bit of snow on the north or south side of Cloud Dressed, but it's not too bad. We didn't use micro spikes, we had them. At no point did we feel in danger. Um, it is one o'clock, there were a lot of good footsteps. There were some post holes though. So I got a feeling people that are gonna climb it or go down in the afternoon have a much harder time. The trail is relatively steep here, it's all steps now, and it goes up there. And up and over to the top, we're almost there. Very close. This is a cloud dress. Look at this ridge right here. Crazy, huh? Beautiful snow covered mountains in the background. Waterfalls, patches of snow all over the rocks. I'm actually lower than the very top. I'm gonna head up there right now. But it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 360 views too.
when I see a tree like this, I always wonder like how loud was that when it snapped? Because it wasn't cut, it didn't break. There's no, as far as I can tell, it's not rotted. It just snapped. It didn't crack off along the length. It just snapped in the middle. Isn't that weird? I bet that was loud. I wish I could be around when something like that happens. It's probably pretty scary, <laughs> but cool. Time for tonight. There's a creek over there, way down below, and there's some campsites further. So we think people may show up. I don't know, they're too close to the water. This here has been my eating utensil for the last couple days, because I forgot my long-handled spoon in the car, so I just cut some bark off of this little branch. And uh, it's pretty pitiful, and it's been slow going, but I can eat with it, sort of. Sort of. I should have made two for chopsticks, but too lazy. There's the tent. And way down below, way over 30 paces, or 40 paces, which is a rule, is the stream. And part of the trail that comes down from Clouds Rest is right over there. We saw some people going but I haven't seen any people in a little while and we are actually closer to the trail than we thought we went way off trail but we forgot it curved so there's a trail down there but we're far away enough I like to see someone get up here in 40 paces or less from the trail but that's also the reason I bought a brown camouflage tent so nobody would find us Good morning, everybody. It's now day three of our Yosemite adventure. It's Sunday morning. We are hiking five miles back to the car. So, pretty easy. It's gonna be almost all down, so it should be pretty easy. There's gonna be nothing too new, except we're gonna swing by Nevada Falls. We didn't do that one before. So we're gonna do that and do that loop so we don't go through this trail and get soaking wet before we get back into our car. So, once I get to Nevada Falls, I'll update you. Right now, though, we're heading back to Little Yosemite Valley. At least I am. Because they have a pretty nice restroom there. And it's only a mile and a half away from here. No sense digging a new cat hole when you don't need to. Right? Especially in such a nice area like this. So, I'll talk to you later. I don't know if I've shown you pictures of the restroom. Maybe I'll do it when I get there. But then Nevada Falls, when I'm next, talk to you. Here's the top of Nevada Falls. As you can see, the water is a little higher than usual. Watch it over there. Oh my gosh, look over there. It's totally washing out that area. There's a nice bridge though. Without the bridge, I would say this thing is a no-go. Thank goodness. Here comes the fall itself. Wow. All that water. Looky here. There seems to be a little trail that goes down a little lower so you get a better view of the falls. There were some rails down there and they were flooded so I think it'd be perfectly safe. Let's go down there. I might put this away. Yeah, it'll be fine. Big steps. There's the viewpoint. Here's what we're looking for. What's going on here? Is it really supported by that rock?
Ha, ha, ha.